Hi there, I am Phoebe Calvert, the editor of American Whiskey Magazine, and today I have the pleasure of being joined by Victoria Edie Butler, Master Blender for Uncle Nearest Whiskey. Welcome. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to be here. Very happy to have you. So very well, welcome to London. And I hear this is your first time. It is. Yeah. How are you it finding is. it? It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. Yeah, had a good explore and... and Obviously some drinks. Had some drinks. Yeah. We haven't explored a whole lot. We did yeah. just a little bit this morning, mm -hmm. um, but uh, Catherine and I flew in yesterday and hit the ground running. So. Oh my gosh, I can imagine yeah, it's busy, been busy, busy lady. It's been busy, <laughs> yeah. it's been busy, but it's been good. Oh, glad to hear it. So this is kind of your, your big introduction to the UK. Okay. Yeah, yeah. How are you feeling about that? Excited. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm excited about it. Mm -hmm. Amazing. And obviously you had, you know, a whole different career, a whole different life before this that we'll, we'll get on to talk about. Okay. You know, could you tell us a little bit about that so we can kind of understand yeah. where you come from and, and the yeah. amazing thing that you've achieved? Prior to um, joining the Uncle Nearest Premium Whiskey team, I worked in law enforcement for just a few days shy of 31 years. Oh my gosh. Um, started out and, and um, worked my way up in the vast majority of my career. Mm -hmm. I uh, was a supervisor who led a team of criminal um, and forensic analysts. Oh my gosh, you're a very handy woman to know. Yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> that and whiskey, brilliant. That's what we like. I knew I liked you. <laughs> um, so obviously, you know, this, the brand, Uncle Nearest, yeah. you know, it's, it really runs very deep for you because it was your great, great grandfather right. um, that the brands kind of come from. Yeah. Did you always know, know the story, know his involvement in, in the world of whiskey and how big that really was? I knew part of the story. Mm -hmm. uh, my grandmother, who is Nearest Green's granddaughter, made sure that I, along with all the rest of the family, knew about uh, Nearest and, and his relationship to Jack Daniel. Mm -hmm. um, her words were, my grandfather taught Jack Daniel how to make whiskey. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what she would always tell us. And indeed he did. But what I didn't know uh, until our CEO and founder, Fawn Weaver, came along and did more of a deep dive into the history mm -hmm. is that Nearest was also responsible for helping to perfect what is known as the Lincoln County process. Mm -hmm. The process of filtering whiskey through sugar maple charcoal, that process sets us apart from bourbon or any other, mm -hmm. any other spirit. Um, and for us, us meaning the Uncle Nearest Premium Whiskey team, and, and for all of those who know that, um, that makes Nearest the godfather of Tennessee whiskey. Mm. Um, that one innovation separates us from any other spirit. So mm -hmm. I didn't know that, um, and that's a big, a big deal. <laughs> um, yeah. So um, I did not know that. I, and I didn't know that in 2013, the governor of Tennessee even signed into law any spirit that wants to be Tennessee um, whiskey mm -hmm. has to meet all the qualifications of bourbon plus the Lincoln County process, mm -hmm. you know. So, so um what Nears helped perfect all those years ago, 1856 to be exact, um, that still lives on today. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know that until a few years ago. That's quite an incredible thing. Yeah. I mean, it's huge. And obviously for, for those that know and love whiskey, you know, that's, that's massive yeah, to hear. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but how do you find that people do you find they they're able to understand and, and distinguish it when or do you have to really sort of delve into into that process and the well you know there are people who who confuse us mm -hmm. um uh, by saying um by asking questions about what separates from from mm -hmm. bourbon and, and and tennessee whiskey mm -hmm. and and we always say we're bourbon plus one um truly we are a tennessee whiskey but we have to meet all the qualifications of bourbon. Mm -hmm. So for me, we are an elevated bourbon. Mm -hmm. uh, we are a premium Tennessee whiskey. Mm -hmm. And it's, it is beautiful. Yeah. And so smooth. Yeah, thank you. That's always what I thank do you. love about Tennessee whiskey is so it really is smooth. So obviously then when it came to you becoming part of the brand, uh -huh. How did how did that story begin, and was it kind of a, just initially hearing about it, or or did you really want to be involved from, from oh, the word go? It it really was just a conversation. Um, I knew who Fawn was. I hadn't uh, she and I hadn't had a lot of conversation prior to her 
um, to she and I sitting down to talk about me joining the team. Mm -hmm. um, she was in Lynchburg the majority of the time. Mm -hmm. I was in Nashville. That's where I was working. Oh, okay. I was traveling. Uh, so I didn't get a chance to really know her except through um, the eyes of my family. They mm -hmm. were telling me about this wonderful woman that, you know, wanted to um, know more about Nearest and and the things that she was doing. She was, by the time Fawn and I um, met, she was already acclimated, you mm -hmm. know, to the family. Yeah. So um, in regards to me joining the team, it really just took a conversation. Mm -hmm. um, Fawn knew that I was nearing um, the end of, of, a, of a career, that I was ready to retire, mm -hmm. and um, she wanted more family involvement with Uncle Nearest Premium Whiskey, and, and so we had the conversation, and I could not pass up the opportunity to um, be a part of, mm -hmm. of my grandfather's, my great-great-grandfather's legacy, and to work alongside this, this wonderful team that Fawn and Catherine Jerkins had put together. Mm. And obviously, you know, whiskey is a very personal thing anyway, sure. I think, and whiskey making, mm -hmm. and, and the whole process of it, you know, it's your taste and your olfactory system, and all of that stuff. So then add into that the fact that you've got this massive family tie. It yeah. must feel like a calling kind of thing that you're doing I, now. I, I, I kind of feel that way mm -hmm. now. Uh, in the beginning, you know, it was just wow, you know, mm -hmm. just opportunity to be a part of something bigger than yourself. Yeah. Um, and now it just feels like home. Mm -hmm. I cannot imagine doing anything else. Um, you know, I, I'm crazy about the folks that, that I get to work alongside. We have built a, a beautiful family with Uncle Near's Premium Whiskey. Um, I enjoy working alongside our sales team and, of mm -hmm. course, our all-female executive team. Yes. Um, and, 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 of course, Fawn. You know, that goes without saying. Been having the opportunity to, to work alongside Fawn Weaver mm -hmm. is, is um, pretty special. Absolutely. She's yeah. quite something. Yeah. Um, so, obviously, you know, when it comes to your role as Master Blender, when, when you first entered Uncle Nearest, what were you doing to begin with? And then how has that developed into what it is today? So, when I joined the team, it was um, in an administrative capacity. Mm -hmm. Uh, before Fawn had even launched the whiskey, um, there were several other things that she had in the works. And one of those things, one of those initiatives, uh, was the Nearest Green Foundation. Mm -hmm. And so I came in, um, and my primary duty was to be the director of administration over the Nearest Green Foundation. That foundation uh, was put into place to support Nearest's college age descendants moving forward. Mm -hmm. uh, we pay for um, full tuition, oh books, fees, anything related to, to their college courses. Mm -hmm. And so I was the director over that, overseeing uh, that process. And um, I joined the team in March. Mm -hmm. And in May, uh, Fawn asked me to blend the first batch of 1884. Our Amazing. small batch with the first batch as well. So it was just like sixty days in, mm -hmm. and a, a shift was was happening, and um, I was excited about it, of course, and yeah. and naturally uh, a, a little nervous. That is natural. Yeah, I think. That's yeah. Good. It means you care. I do. I do. I do. <laughs> and so um, that lasted, uh, like I said, about sixty days, mm -hmm. uh, and then in July of twenty nineteen. Our small batch hit the market, mm -hmm. and um, we've not looked back. You know, right out the gate, we started winning awards with it, and uh, Fawn asked me to blend the next batch. Mm -hmm. I did, and by October, uh, I was elevated to master blender, yeah. and uh, I have blended every batch of 1884 cents. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. So it, it must is. feel like a like a, a child or a limb. I oh, don't know. One of the yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's. Yeah. Uh, it's still surreal when mm. I think about it. it. It all has happened very quickly. Yeah. Um, but most things in our company have happened um, very quickly. Mm -hmm. I was talking to, to Kate when we were um, sitting down for coffee this morning, and mm -hmm. we were talking about how fast we've grown and, um, um, you know, how hard I think she, she worked, mm -hmm. she and Fawn, um, to ensure that, 
Uh, we were in all 50 states within a two-year time, yeah. and um, that's unheard of, mm. you know. Um, so I can imagine the work that they put in to, to make that happen. Oh, and so, absolutely. you know, we work really hard. But Absolutely. we love it. Yeah, and we you deserve the success. Yes. I mean, brilliant whiskey, brilliant people. Yes, I agree. Like. Yeah. I agree. And obviously now, sort of over in the UK, how are you finding people sort of receive the whiskey? Do oh, they... my goodness. The last two days have been wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, interviews and, and meeting with our distributor partners. And um, it's just been really good. Mm -hmm. They are excited about it. Uh, and certainly we are. We have pledged to be here more often. Mm -hmm. um, Catherine and, and um, myself and, and, and Fawn as well will be coming to oh, the UK more often to um, put a face with the brand mm -hmm. and to uh, push the needle all the more here. And uh, of course, you know, Matt is here. Posh Matt is what we call him. We love Matt. And uh, <laughs> he's here working really hard. And mm -hmm. so we'll be, we'll be, uh, We'll be getting this ball rolling really, really, really fast absolutely. now that um, things are kicked off. This is what we like to hear. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, obviously, you know, when you're introducing people to the whiskeys, what, what do you, how, how do you do that? How do you explain it? And well, you know, um, I, for me, I don't lead with the story. We mm -hmm. have a very um, beautiful story. Mm -hmm. uh, what I love most about the story behind our brand is that it's not embellished. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be. Uh, but we have really good juice in the bottle. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we serve up the juice, talk about our, our, our liquid gold, and then we share what's, um, what's behind that, what, mm -hmm. what got us to um, the whiskey in the bottle. Absolutely, I love that. I'm just thinking maybe we should try a little bit. I don't oh, know. Oh, I think we, we should too. I feel like it's it's sad it's to have time, empty hands. Right? So we're thirsty. What what would I you like? We maybe we should try the eighteen eighty four. Okay. That's the first one. How about I pour you some? Oh well oh my gosh. This is a treat. All oh, right. This is a drink. Thank you very much. Let's have a drink. Absolutely. It's about that time of day, isn't it? It is. It's Five always that somewhere. time of day. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Cheers to you. Cheers. Thank you. So this is our eighteen eighty four. It is 93 proof. Okay, nice. What we're about to sip is probably seven to 14 years old. Okay, wow. Um, 1884 is the year that Nears Green last put whiskey in a barrel. Mm -hmm. So we pay homage to his retirement ah, with this small batch bottle. Some rebirth. Yeah. We like it. Cheers, lady. Cheers. Thank you. Kind of good, right? Oh, Ooh. that's gorgeous. That slips down a tiny bit too easily. Really good. Oh, that is. I'm not supposed to say that, right? Oh, you're allowed oh. to say it. So good. So, obviously, people aren't necessarily tasting at home with us, but we can give them an idea of, uh, yeah. of this. So, what, what do you, talk, if you could talk us through, obviously, sure. everyone smells and tastes differently. We right. start with that. Right. But, um, you know, what do you get and what's your process also when you're kind of, Blending. Well, for me, um, there's a lot of, of, of maple and honey, mm -hmm. uh, stone fruit, a mm -hmm. uh, little bit of spice. Um, and then on the end, it's kind of sweet mm -hmm. and kind of yields to, to spiciness. Um, I love it. Mm -hmm. I can understand why. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but, you know, whiskey tasting or mm -hmm. sampling, um, it is an individual process. Uh, I hope that that um, we have some commonalities mm -hmm. um, in regards to the flavor profile, but everybody's different, mm -hmm. you know. I always say, you know, when you buy your bottle, you drink it how you, li how you like it, mm -hmm. it's yours. Same thing is when you're sampling, you know, you might not get what I get out of it, mm -hmm. and, and that's fine, absolutely. you know. We're absolutely um, unique. Mm -hmm. So uh, what you get out of it is what you get out of it. Exactly. Uh, the bottom line is I hope you enjoy it. Too right. Yeah. And I think the nice thing about whiskey as well is that it starts a conversation. It does. And, you know, it is like a you great said. conversation starter. Absolutely. Um, Especially this one. Enjoyable with most anything. I was going to um, say, how, if you were to put this in a, in a cocktail or, or uh, drink it any way other than straight, what would you do? Well, one of my favorite cocktails is a sidecar. Mm -hmm. um, I love Uncle Nira's uh, Copper Skies. Mm -hmm. um, and then I love it like this. 
Just yeah. depends on my mood and the atmosphere. The yeah, mm -hmm. and the, you know, the day. Uh, like right now, this is perfect, right? Hitting the spot, I yeah. must say. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And obviously, you know, while we're drinking this, could you sort of talk us through the other, other whiskeys in your sure. portfolio and, and sort of the order in which you worked on Absolutely. Them? So mm -hmm. we launched our brand um, in 2017 with Uncle Nearest 1856. 1856 is the year that Nears Green helped perfect that Lincoln mm -hmm. County process. Um, it is a 100 proof uh, bottle. Um, and then of course the 1884 came next. Um, we have now that are distillery exclusives. We have our master blend. It mm -hmm. is a, a barrel proof blend of unique special barrels of 1884. Uh, when I was blending, um, some doing some of the blending process for 1884, I was finding these beautiful barrels mm -hmm. that I thought could stand alone and not be proofed oh, down. Okay. And so we have blended those, some of those together. And um, Juneteenth of last year Amazing. is when we launched our Master Blend Edition. Yep. And then just a couple of weeks ago, we added a rye to our portfolio and oh, so it's right. it's absolutely delicious <laughs> yeah. it's uncut unfiltered um and it can only be purchased at at the dis okay. nearest green distillery amazing and speaking of the distillery you know that's come on leaps and bounds yeah I, I went the last time i was there was 2019 oh and it was my a hard goodness hat tour. So you've got to come back you've absolutely. got to come back it's absolutely mm. beautiful uh, since you were there we have added a different um additional acreage mm -hmm. Um, I can't remember exactly what it is now, but I think when you were there, it's probably 270. Then we yes. added, that took us up to 323 mm -hmm. in our last edition. I think it takes us to uh, close to 400. Wow. So we have a, Such a short big space farm. Of time. Yeah, it's right. It's, it's, you know, we are on an original uh, Tennessee walking horse farm. Mm -hmm. uh, we've tried really hard to maintain the the integrity and the beauty of the property that that we inherited mm. that we purchased uh, still have horses on on oh the gosh, on amazing. the property but of course the main focus is near screen yes uh, mm -hmm. and what he contributed to the tennessee tennessee spirits industry mm -hmm. uh, but we do have have a lot to offer we have the first um, non-alcoholic speakeasy on oh, the near screen at the near screen distillery okay and we are just weeks away from opening up the longest bar in the world mm -hmm. is, is humble baron oh my god does it come all the way over here <laughs> is, that, is that how long no, it is you're gonna have to come see me you're gonna have to come see me not quite that long <laughs> no. okay. but it is massive mm -hmm. and the decor is beautiful Amazing. has a beautiful um indoor outdoor capability we'll mm -hmm. be having a lot of live music events oh, there it's, it's going to be perfect oh so lovely yes and so you know, you know you've mentioned the amazing achievements of nearest green and mm -hmm. obviously they are plentiful but you've also done some pretty amazing things yourself and you've been recognized by the industry and won numerous awards you know how does that feel at this point or down the line um you know it's exciting mm -hmm. um humbling mm -hmm. um encouraging uh but but also um, it is very, um, it reminds me rather mm -hmm. that what we're doing um, in regards to honoring near screen um, is the right thing, of mm -hmm. course. And every time that I receive an award, I am, I'm grateful, but it lets, you know, it lets others know about us. Mm -hmm. So it's always about nearest. Uh, it's always about Nears Green and the Uncle Nears Premium Whiskey brand. Mm -hmm. um, I am our only master blender, but um, I can't take credit for anything by myself. Mm -hmm. I'm, you know, it's it's all about our team. Mm -hmm. It's all about our team. This is one of the many reasons you're so lovable. Oh, you're it's sweet. Brilliant. On the subject of the awards, Master Blender of the Year, twice in a row. Tell me a little bit about oh, that. Oh, wow. How did that um, feel? So exciting, right? Mm -hmm. um, in 2021, to be named the first person of color mm -hmm. Master Blender of the Year by Whiskey Magazine, Icons of Whiskey, um, I was blown away. Mm -hmm. uh, not just because 
uh, I am the first person of color, but just to uh, achieve that huge of accomplishment um, within two and a half years of being a master blender mm -hmm. was huge. Mm -hmm. It is huge. And then to win it again um, this year, uh, you could have just blown me over with, with a feather, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I was shocked and um, um, extremely humble and very grateful. Mm -hmm. um, no one has won back-to-back -back years, and for me to do it, um, I'm most grateful, oh, extremely so grateful. No. And my, my, you know, my whiskey fam, my, my, mm -hmm. my team, uh, they were all excited as well. So mm -hmm. it's it's been a... It's been a big deal for our whole whiskey Quite family. Something. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think it goes to show, you know, consistency is key in whiskey. Well, oh, absolutely. Certain whiskeys, obviously, yeah. you know. Yeah, um, but, yeah. But you're, you're really a walking, talking proof of that. It's amazing. Thank you. And we are very lucky that you're going to be over here a bit more now. So that, yeah, that, that, is, the, that like. is the plan. I look mm. forward to it. I really amazing. do. And sort of last thing I wanted to ask you was, you know, what your hopes are for the next next sort of decade for... Oh, for wow. And for you, your role there. Well, I, I, I hope to uh, continue in the role of Master Blender. I'm mm -hmm. sure I will. Mm -hmm. um, and I would like to um, see us continue to add more expressions to our portfolio. Mm. Um, I'm excited about the growth at the Nears Green Distillery um, in the next years to come, mm -hmm. you know, seeing the people come and go. Um, every week we are welcome, welcoming in people from all across the, the country. Mm -hmm. um, that's very exciting. So um, I'm just looking forward to continued good health, Absolutely. Uh, more days like today, mm -hmm. uh, working alongside the most incredible uh, team in the whiskey business, and of course um, spending more time with Fawn and my, my family. Cheers to that. Cheers yeah. to that. Thank you very much. It was so lovely to get to chat Thank with you. Thank you.